Oh yeah, maximum exposure. Hey, dumb guys, this one's for you. Look, Ma, no hands. Whoops, no head neither. Hey, dumb dude, yeah. why'd you jump off the mountain? Because it was there. A biker gives us some lift. Cool. Now, who gets into rolling his Jeep more, Ed or his wife? Oh, Ed. Oh, Ed. Oh! A tape of a guy doing something highly illegal falls into the wrong hands. Ours. The Max X Thong Patrol is on top of things. We'll show you how to drive a junker and drive it to death. You're all. Oh, no! And a guy with more guts than brains. And he leaves them all over the road. Whoa! Now, if you're dumb, or just know someone who is, set right down, because this show's for you. Stupid Morons, colon, a celebration of life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this is a false arrest. Stupid morons. You gotta love them. Hey, here's one. Kevin Kendall. Hey, we could have done this one. He's taking time out from his busy studies at Colorado State University in Fort Collins to screw around on a homemade swing. His buds are watching. Kevin's swinging like a monkey on a vine. Except no monkey would be dumb enough to go, look, ma, no hands. Oh, his head slams into the ground. Once more, just to be sure. Dude is out. But his roomies think he's faking. He's gonna get up. Holy s. Uh, better call 911, dudes. I hope he's okay. He scraped his head on the dirt first. That's what happened. We'll see you at the hospital, buddy. It wasn't the swing that failed him, it's just stupid. It's just amazing I walked away, oh, I didn't walk away from it, it's amazing that I came out of that okay. Let's see that again. When I hit the ground, it just split me open right here for, I don't know, maybe two inches. I uh, got 20 stitches in my forehead, right about there. Why'd you do it, Kevin? Why? And one of my roommates tells me to do my uh, hang upside down without using my hands, which I was kind of known for as I'm doing right there, but ah, that one didn't work out. Okay, let's pause that interview and review the logic. One, his roommate told him to do it, and two, he's known for it. If I would have been hanging down another inch, well, I could have broke my neck, I could have, could have died. But that don't stop Kevin. Would I do that again today? Oh, in a heartbeat. Don't get any fun out of life, you just sit at home and watch TV all the time. Unless you're home watching Max X, celebrating life. This is Joe DiCarlo. Is he a stupid moron? You be the judge. He's making an audition tape to get on that other show, Survivor or something. He's going to rappel off this cliff in Columbus, Georgia. Let me know when you're ready. I'm rolling. All right, you ready? Yeah. I don't remember hitting the ground. I don't remember being evac'd. I don't remember any of it at all. No memory, zero. I barely remember being in the hospital, to be honest with you. I had a concussion. What did he say? Ah, who cares? Hey, let's see it again in slow-mo. Joe breaks his jaw in three places. It gets wired together. He breaks a rib and loses five teeth. The story, I've been told it over and over, but it's kind of vague to me. But I do know that the paramedics warned me about my teeth being knocked out and not to choke on them. So I started reaching in my mouth and pulling my teeth out with my fingers. And I'd have no memory of that, but I must have been in shock. Gee, what went wrong? The only thing I can figure is that there was too much slack in the road. Hmm. Yeah, slack. The only regret I have is that I didn't succeed, that I got hurt. I mean, I don't regret trying. Joe's a survivor. <laughs> <laughs> but we'd say the tribe is spoken. All right, you ready? Yeah. As all you tweakers and crankheads know, 
This is how you make methamphetamine. This here's Aaron Yost, drug dealer. He's making a tape to send to a dude named Butch. Now, Butch taught him how to make the stuff, but they ain't friends no more. Just for you, Butch Bar. Is it on? Oh, yeah, where we all, oh, all. Oh. Look at that. Can you see that over there? Yeah, it's recording. Is that your, it's like your average, everyday, ordinary look in a jar. Well, I wonder if I could get a fucking half a gram out of this. Oh. Aaron thinks he's so much better at making meth than Butch is. Aaron's like, anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> Check out Jar's in the way. Jar, touch it. Careful. Oh, don't even touch it. Don't breathe not, it. Oh my, oh, my God. Look at that. I'm not even touching the shirt. Riverside here, County, California, Deputy DA Tom Maycomer gives us the what's up with the what's up. What he's holding is a homemade hydrogen chloride gas generator with a vent tube. He's going to take that tube and he's going to touch it to the liquid. And when he touches the liquid, you can see clouds are forming. That is literally the hydrogen chloride gas is causing the liquid methamphetamine to turn to a solid. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. I wonder if I could turn this whole jar into a single solid mass. What do you say, Butch? Can it be done? <laughs> God. Yo, Aaron, you're smart enough to make math, but so stupid you make a tape of you doing something way illegal. And of course, the cops get a hold of the tape. The only explanation for someone filming themselves doing this is that they are stupid. But by definition, a crime is a stupid act, so you really expect criminals to do things like this. We couldn't have said it better, so we ain't saying nothing. Look at that, Butch, can you believe that? I'm turning uh, this jar into one solid mass. Aaron goes up for 35 years. Way to go, moron. Oh, my God. Hey, what's all the screaming about? Ed, for God's sake. She's screaming about her husband, the famous Mr. Ed. He's a dude who likes flipping his Jeep. Oh, Ed! She likes taping them. Now, where is it? Oh, oh, oh Ed! Mr. Ed rolled it on potato salad, and I didn't take the camera away. Here, he flips it on Potato Salad Hill near Moab, Utah. Oh, Ed. Oh, Ed! He's got the strap out. He did it again. I got it on video again. Oh, yeah, he never gets hurt. You think maybe he just ain't a good driver? Ed! 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 Ready? What? Ed don't care. He's a flipping fool. Sometimes it's fun to pull the limit, and sometimes you miss and go over. Ed! It's fun. It's my sport. Why do people jump out of planes? Why do they climb straight up cliffs? They get a little bit of a rush out of it. Ed! 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 Mr. Ed's wife don't go near the Jeep when he's driving. She gets excited too easily. Gee, Manny Christmas. She's into it. That's why she's out there filming it. She enjoys it. Oh, Ed. Oh, Ed. Oh, Ed! There's always a way around everything. I enjoy it. I think it'll be age and death that it'd make me quit. I enjoy it too much. There's a little MacGyver in all of us. What? What are you talking about? MacGyver built stuff. The rollover king. The rollover king. We think this turns Ed on, because at night he hopes to hear this. Oh, Ed. Oh, Ed. Oh, Ed! Oh, Ed. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Ed! Ed! Gee, money Christmas. Max X. Here's to our stupid moron brothers. Later, how to impress a girlfriend. Jump into a crocodile pit. Fall down. Remove pants. A dude comes really close to making his ATV a DOA. It ain't the size of the stick. It's knowing how to beat some dudes in the head with it. Got a problem that needs fixing? Call the Max X Handyman. All work guaranteed. We support freedom of speech. Well, for most guys. If you think you got what it takes to be a stupid moron, 
kick the moron challenge on our max sex list max sex we may be big but we're dumb too You're losing brain cells with Max X. The oldest animals in the world. Three people are hanging out at a zoo in Spain. Sean, Sarah, and Sarah's daughter, Asia. They're checking out the crocodile pit. Sean gets a really, really stupid idea. He climbs into the pit. Sean, no! He's just trying to impress his lady. Come out, please. He strolls around and whoops, speeding time. He tries to hustle out of there, but the sides of the pit are too slick. Sean, listen, calm down, right? Listen to me. Sean! Sean's only 20 feet away from Croc Death. Sean, The first moment he turned around, he tried to climb out and he slid back down. The sides were full of silt and slime. I knew then he couldn't get out. All I said to Sean was, please remain calm. I, I thought at the time that was the only thing he could do. By making any movement or vibration, it would draw attention to him from the crocodiles. Calm down. Sean, we need some help, don't we? Aisha, shall I go get some help? Yes, you shall. Um, I recalled uh, 20 minutes previously, we'd seen a gentleman, a zookeeper, feeding some birds. So I ran through an aviary where I'd last seen him and I saw him. My Spanish was very, very poor and I had to describe to him the situation we were encountering. But Sarah ain't exactly fluent in Spanish. Oh, my boyfriend, the crocodile, filming. Kids. Oh, crocodile. Who could you? My, my boyfriend, here, filming. And he suddenly became aware of the situation. He went very, very white. He said, where? We ran as fast as lightning back to the scene. Sarah and the zookeeper come back to the croc pit. Sean's still struggling to get out, and now he ain't wearing pants. They were covered with slime, so he took them off, hoping to get traction. Well, that's what we do. Didn't work. The zoo dude throws a pair of boots at him. The man went to um, a shed of some sort, and he came back with a pair of boots, which seemed so primitive. He threw the boots into the basin where Sean was sat. Sean puts the boots on and walks out to safety. Nice look, dude. Pink skivvies and a pair of booties. When he got to the edge of the fence, everybody just breathed an enormous sigh of relief because we knew he was safe then and he was able to get out. He was just drained, completely drained, for about a week afterwards. A week in which Sean could take time to reflect on what a stupid moron he was. Never again. I mean, if I could get out safely, nothing happened, okay, he's still there, but what happened is really, really stupid, you know? It's playing with your life. You shouldn't do that. We've seen some spectacular stunts on Max X. This ain't one of them. In 12.5 seconds, Matt Teo's gonna be hurt. Well, let's take the 12.5 seconds to point out his careful preparation. No helmet, a very slow approach speed, and no skills. Oh, ow, that was stupid. Nice plant. You still got all your teeth, buddy. Thanks for the concern, pal. I ripped up my bottom lip. Matt makes us feel his pain. I went off the jump and I was going to bail, but I decided to stay on. I just saw myself going down like in slow-mo and I just knew I was going to eat it. When I hit, I just felt my bottom lip fold down and start scraping on the pavement. Uh, oh, you got black on your face. Are you all right? No. <laughs> Ow. Fuck you. Matt goes to a friend's place to try a little self-doctoring. I was going to try and clean up and make it look okay, a little bit better, so my mom wouldn't get so angry. I don't think my mom would notice. Nah, not if she's blind. Then Matt realizes he's got a big hole in his lip. Gotta go to a real doctor now. They just stitched it together with like two stitches, kind of pulled it together and it worked pretty well. And what about Matt's future plans? I wouldn't try it for a while, give me some time. Practice on something a little bit smaller first. Yeah, Matt's tough. But you gotta be when you're a stupid moron. Cause this ain't gonna be the last time. Face plant. <laughs>
Woodstock, Virginia. Some dudes are getting crazy with their ATVs. Here we are with Dumbass TV, where Mark Wolf is going to attempt to jump in the creek. The star of Dumbass TV is Mark Wolf. He's going to jump his ATV off a 19-foot bank into the creek. Mark, can you swim? Now, the problem ain't just swimming, because the water's pretty shallow. Mark has to jump off the bike before he hits to avoid serious hurt. But he's going to do it, because he's a hefty dude, and he feels pressured to impress his friends. Here he comes. Let's see that again in slow-mo. With a big man's grace, Mark leaps from the bike. Unfortunately, he breaks the bike's front end. But at least he gives it a good cleaning. <laughs> Mark might be a stupid moron, but he's a happy stupid moron celebrating life. Max Zach salutes you. Maxx, we love our morons. Coming up, Honda introduces its new flying car. Oh, no! Now, why can't Russians have nice things? Hey, kids, how many times have we told you, don't play ball in the house? Go outside and play hit the moron with a Roman candle. Win valuable prizes. And the best damn train stop in the whole U.S. of A. Think you're really stupid? We'll be the judge of that. Take the moron challenge on our max X list. Maximum exposure. Uh oh, we made a mess. We got more on morons at Max X. Hey, you got 85 bucks to burn? Buy a 70s Honda Civic like these guys in DC and run it into the ground. The clunker ain't got much horsepower left. Come on, Mike, gotta get up there. He's <laughs> going backwards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, he's rolling now. We're filming. Well, maybe we spoke too soon. Starts picking up speed around the track. One more hill to conquer. He's flooring it. Don't look like he'll make it, but he does. Oh, no! Damn! Whoa! Up and over! We've got to see that again. The driver's got a full head of steam when he hits the hill. And the hill's like a ramp that slings the car into the sky. Check out the brake light. A little too late for that, dude. The camera looks for the car. Wow, that's like a high cliff. And they come this close to landing on a busy highway. Those guys gotta be history. Nope, they're alive. They walk away from the crash. The Honda Civic. Safe, solid, hell of a lot of power, and it flies real good. All this for just 85 bucks. Oh, no! Damn! There's teen morons on the loose. This is the house we're fixing to break into. Jacksonville, Florida. Five guys break into seven unoccupied houses and one high school and do some major vandalizing. Vandals? Where? Who did that? We're going to make this place a one-bedroom apartment. It's all for a tape they're making to amuse themselves called destruction. They go after walls, toilets, Shower doors, faucets, glass, light bulbs, and mirrors. Seven years of bad luck, dude, guaranteed. Of course, real pros use wood bats, not aluminum, like these jerks. While Max X deplores the actions of these vandals, we can kind of understand kicking the crap out of Barney. Bad Boy gets arrested, and cops get a look at the tape. Two of them are sent to reform school. 
All five work jobs where 50% of the pay goes to retribution and attorney's fees. They gotta take classes in character development. And they gotta help rebuild the homes they trashed. Listen up, vandal wannabes. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. And you don't want to do this kind of time. Let's get out of here. This could well be the first Russian that we've ever seen on Max X that isn't drunk. But he is a stupid moron. And he's blowing up stuff in his house, specifically video games. This here's Andre. He sets up his game, lights the fireworks, Picked off, they never got to launch ballistic missiles at the United States. Andre does it again. He times this one a little better. We don't get it. In a country where they ain't got jack. This guy's blowing up stuff he does have. That's a stupid Moronsky. Celebrating life Russian style. Max Axe. Brain challenged and proud of it. Next, dumb guys whack each other with sticks. They don't get no better than this. Some men search for the cure for cancer. Max Axe dudes search for the best way to hurl a pumpkin. A thong is a terrible thing to waste. It don't mean a thing if you ain't crashing off that swing. Oh! If you're thinking you're the Phi Beta Kappa dumb guys, try the Moron Challenge on our Max X list. Max X, we put the E in IQ. Max X goes to Texas. Well, you find all kinds of folks. Raiders fans. It's the Westheimer Street Festival in Houston, and it's time for skate jousting. They throw on football pads and helmets and go at it with pugil sticks. The first one who touches the ground with his hand or body loses. It's stupid stick to stick combat. We got dude versus dude, and dudette versus dudette. And that women's is nasty. Oh, be careful with that stick. You could put somebody's brain out. Sure enough, the dude goes down. He's great. He just took a little kind of family hit. Uh, you know what I mean? So uh, I think he's going to be great. Yeah, easy for you to say. You didn't take a big stick in the crotch. On the ladies' side, we have a winner. You're the woman's champion. Oh, yeah. Finals. Hey, you know this is the, the the battle of the champions here. This is the two guys that won more than anybody else. They both refuse to lose. That's what happened here. It's punishing time. One shot and a new champion. Brave gladiators? Eh, maybe not. Stupid dudes? Definitely. See ya. Right. So, what do you do with the pumpkin? Carve it? Make pie? Nah. In Delaware, you hurl it. We worship these dudes. They could be building stuff to improve mankind, but no, they're having fun. They build handmade pumpkin flinging things, because they're Max X kind of dudes. Slingshots. Catapults. Springy loaded things. Trebuchet. And the best one, a rocket. That morons is geniuses. And life is good. New 
Year's Day. Most people are dealing with their hangovers. But in Wisconsin, these cheese hats are fixing to do some swimming. Because they're the Sheboygan Polar Bear Club. The temperature's in the teens, and the water's almost freezing. It's colder than that really cold part on a witch. They hit the water. They're freezing their cheese hats off. Both of them. There's a whole lot of shivering and shriveling going on. Yeah, it's kind of nipply out. For the polar bears in Sheboygan, that's the high point of the year. It's all downhill from here. Trains are the lifeline of America. So it's very important to moon them. Folks got full moon fever in San Juan Capistrano, California. Once a year in July, they get together and moon the trains. This is the big day that uh, we we do the thing for Amtrak. We moon the Amtrak. This is the 20th anniversary of the mooning of Amtrak. It all started at the Mugs Away Saloon. This is one of those situations where everybody just wants to cut loose and get out and have a good time meeting wonderful people and enjoying the weather, enjoying the Amtrak, and uh, enjoying mooning. Yeah, it's nice out today. I think I'll leave it out. <laughs> Amtrak workers are into it, too. Well, I understand that uh, they put in like a year in advance on this thing, and they pull tab to see if uh, who gets to work that day, because they want to see all the butt shots and whatever else may happen. This is perfectly acceptable Max X behavior. Except this woman's wearing a thong. Hey, let's take a closer look. Cheater! She's got a thong on. You see that? It's a thong. Max X apologizes for presenting a moon story that somebody just had to ruin because they were too shy or just too damn lazy to remove their thong. We sincerely regret this incident and will make every effort to make sure it does not occur again in future moon stories. Maximum exposure. We won't ask you to spell it. Coming up, test drive a Max X pre owned vehicle today. Cigarettes can be dangerous to your health. Hey, keep it down. Max X is on the TV. Are you sure you ain't dumber than a box of rocks? Best take the moron challenge on our Max X list. Max X. We're getting by on our looks. Max X is in Texas again. And this show's called Stupid Morons. You do the math. It's a campsite in Gladewater. Now, we ain't saying these people are hicks. But they look like they just might be hicks. Todd Orndorff figures out how to add a little fun. He makes a swing out of a car seat. I built a swing because we, we were needing something else to do out there. Todd and his friend Kathy get set for some swinging. There they go. Ow! Kathy gets thumped and then launched out of the swing. I was worried she was hurt pretty bad. Don't move her! Don't move her! Oh, that hurt. Let's see it again in slow-mo. I'm telling her that we're, we're definitely going to hit. Her side of the swing, I believe, actually hit the ground. And uh, it just catapulted her straight out. I made a blanket and I made a pillow. I was pretty scared because I thought I was hurt really bad. Kathy's pretty much okay. She's able to enjoy a refreshing, delicious cigarette after her near-death experience. I would never do something that silly again. Never? Why not? What else are you going to do? Bakersfield, California. Christopher Charles Lightsey is in court. He's going up for murder, but he ain't going quietly. Mr. Lightsey, previously I told you that I was going to... He said, Mr. Lightsey, I'm not going to drink any trial. Mr. Lightsey... 
He said, I'm not going to grant you a new trial twice in front of all the witnesses in this courtroom. He said, The judge has had enough of his left. Where's going to be in recess for the gag, Mr. Lightsey? I want to make a margin motion and a Feretta motion. I'm not going to be gagged. You can put me out of the room if you want, bro. But I also want to make the stand and talk about. Being put in the other room is not an alternative. They wrap duct tape around his face. Order of the court. He's been gagged so that he cannot continue with his disruptive conduct in this courtroom. Works for a little while till the tape slides off. My attorney sold me out. They knew about the fraud. They sold me out. They were worthless. Well, sure, this guy's a killer. But we're hating him because he's so friggin' annoying. Cooperate with the court, please. My attorney sold me out. They know about the fraud that solicited perjury by D.A. Green and fraud. He solicited perjury from this time. They wrap him up real good. Right now, we have a serious problem. Mr. Gillis can't hear what's going on with the court speech. And uh, I'm having a difficult time here in paying attention. The sentencing goes on. But Light Say still has his say. Well, kind of. Let's listen closer. Is the court aware of the accusation that we're presented at Hey, kids, we got a new game for you. All you need is a parking lot at night, a bike, and fireworks. No, 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 no. Like that. It's called Hit the Dude with Roman Candles. You try to knock him off his bike. Oh, and make sure to wear your safety goggles. Oh, missed him. Another miss. It's a lousy shot. Then again, Roman Candles are notoriously inaccurate. Not like high powered rifles. Look at that, over there, the grass is <laughs> Well, he hit something. Some dry grass. <laughs> Don't look like he got I don't know. The biker wins. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. It's a great new game and a good way to set the neighborhood on fire. Maybe get some of those super cool third degree burns. Yo, boarders, it's Skatopia in Rutland, Ohio. Three days to rock. Partying. Freedom. Freedom? Plain and simple. And trash. <laughs> They're gonna destroy this car. This dude brought it. My parents bought it. They said, take it. Take it away. They said, oh, you're going to Skatopia again. Well, you gotta have something to bring. Yeah. Here, take this car. What are you guys doing to my car? Take it out of my car! I was actually planning on driving and bringing it back. He said, don't bring it back. Really? It's a one-way trip. We have parents that cool, but they're in jail now. The guys drive it all around and into a pond. When it went in the pond, it was quite a beautiful thing, because I never thought it was going to actually come out of the pond. But it does. They kept starting the car up while it was underwater, and bubbles were coming out. And it was running, and they'd just leave it running in five feet of water. They yank it out of the pond, so they can trash it some more. Finally at night, the car gives it up. It overheats and catches fire. None of this stuff is staged. This is this is actual stunt people in an actual real life scenario <laughs> doing what they do. Yeah, if you're a stupid moron in Rutland, Ohio. <laughs> this is Art Keating. We think he's stupid. He's hanging out of a truck and wants to jump into the other truck. They're going 60 miles an hour. Art's so cool, he don't even take that life-threatening butt out of his mouth. Why bother when he don't care about living anyway? Yeah, he's gonna make it. Uh, no. The camera tries to find him. There he is, limping in front of that car. Oh, that's wicked stupid. We gotta see it again. The 
cab, it was rounded. I think maybe I had sweaty hands or something. And then at that moment, I, I slipped between the two vehicles, and all I could hear was this buzzing sound. And that was my head scraping the, the pavement. Art slides about 40 yards before he stops. He almost gets hit by another car. He's covered with nasty scrapes and cuts. But otherwise, he's okay. Well, except for that special mixture of blood and back hair. When you're out drinking, I'd have to say, play it cool. Life is, life is a good place to be. Being dead is, is dead. Being alive is, is happiness. Ah, yes. Pearls of wisdom from a Zen master. Being dead is, is dead. Being alive is, is happiness. Maximum exposure. Hey, don't be lying awake at nights getting test-taking anxiety. We promise you're going to ace the moron challenge on our Max X list. It's time to play the Max X Moron Challenge and find out, are you a stupid moron? First, watch this very carefully. San Miguel County, New Mexico. This dude just got arrested. You are a bitch. No, f you. F you. I have the right to remain silent. I don't want to remain silent because this is Five, zero, false, nine, arrest. false arrest. False arrest. False arrest. False arrest. Deputy Tom Mumford drives him to the station. Dude tries a little sugar. You arrest me for that reason, you fucking false arrest. I was assaulted. Mm, this dude don't strike us as the religious type, but in the name of God, it's a false arrest. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this is a false arrest. False arrest. I thought it was kind of nice that he uh, quieted down for a second. Then he crosses that line. We know it. You know it. He doesn't. Fuck you don't spit on the back of an officer's head. Uh, so I slammed on the brakes and, and pulled him out of the car. Come on. Don't spit on me, <laughs> Deputy Mumford works a little cop mojo on him. I'm not sure if he liked it or not, but uh, he wasn't doing any more spitting. And when he got back in the car, he continued yelling. Fuck the rat! Fuck the rat! Mumford charges the guy with disorderly conduct. I didn't give him a charge for spitting on me. I mean, he probably doesn't know a whole lot better. What is my charge? What is my charge? I showed it to my grandmother. She laughed. Well, I guess the funniest part was just looking at myself, uh, reach into the car and pull this guy out, and then a minute later throwing him back into the vehicle. Uh, and then all of a sudden having him sit up and look like some sort of Casper the Ghost with the t-shirt up over his face. Now, had it been our squad car, it would have gone something like this. Come on, spit on me. Now, here's the first question in the Max X Moron Challenge. What is this suspect's big complaint? False arrest! False arrest! If you false guessed false arrest, you might not be a stupid moron. Number two on our moron challenge, a Max X hero. Ralph Sinisi hopping the rails around Irvine, California. But this here's the big one. And he's going for it. One more time to feel the pain. I was really because I felt it was going to hurt a lot, and I, as soon as I felt the pain, I knew that something was wrong. Nice rail straddle, dude. Ralph ignores the pain and keeps on riding. That's why he's a Max X hero. But that one doesn't. He can hardly walk. My leg felt really jelly-ish, and I looked down and I took my pants off and I realized that my leg was growing at a large rate. Oh my God, look at the bone. <laughs> hold up, hold up, dude. When I first went to the emergency room, said that they'd never seen anything like it, 
And once the x-ray was completed, they realized that I had uh, fractured the leg. But Ralph's a hero. He doesn't let doctors treat him because he figures it'll heal all by itself. I figured that the best self-medication would be some painkillers and a couple of beers, and that's what I tried, and uh, it worked. Gee, thanks, Dr. Ralph. Okay, here's question number two in our moron challenge. What body part did Ralph hurt? If you guessed leg, you might not be a stupid moron. And number one on the Max Sax Moron Challenge, Jim Wolf. Jim has a very special moron hobby. I'm Mark. He likes blowing himself up in lots of different ways. Hey. He's an expert, so he knows all the tricks you need to know to survive. You know what an outhouse is good for? Blow it up. He's in one piece. So is the toilet seat. Now for the final question in the Max X Moron Challenge. What is the chemical composition of TNT? Time's up. If you didn't guess this, you're a stupid moron. Ah, but hell, we didn't know either. Welcome to the club. See ya. Max X, we are so gone. Fuck the rest! Fuck the rest! Fuck the rest!